Hey everyone, welcome back to DevOps Unlocked, a channel dedicated to providing you the latest and greatest DevOps tutorials. Today, we will be covering Amazon Web Services, specifically the Systems Manager. Okay, so before we begin, one thing we need to do is create a role based off of the Systems Manager policy. And that policy is already predefined within Amazon Web Services, and it is called the Amazon SSM Manage Instance Core. So we will attach this policy to a custom built role, and that will allow us to get access to our instances. Okay, so to do so, we're gonna click the IAM menu, select roles, and we're gonna click create role, and we'll select under common use cases EC2, click next permissions, and we're gonna filter out a policy, and that policy is the Amazon SSM managed instance core. I'm gonna skip the tag portion of this, and then for name, I'm just gonna set SSM, and I'll just create a, just a simple description here as well. SSM, demo, and on YouTube, why not? I'll click create role down below, and that completes the create role section. So now we're ready to set up an EC2 instance. Okay, so we're gonna select EC2, and I'll click instances running doesn't matter, I don't have anything running. So in the upper right, I will click this yellow button, launch instances. And for the demo, I'm gonna select the Amazon Linux 2 AMI. I'm selecting this because it has the SSM agent already installed. For the instance type, I will choose the T2 micro instance. This is all I need. And I will click the next configure instance details. Everything by default here is fine. Um, you may make changes based on your environment or whatever you're deploying. However, below in the IAM role, I will select SSM. This is the role I had just created. And then I don't need to make any further changes, so I will click the next add storage. And then in this menu, uh, I do not need to set the disk size so i'm going to click next add tags and here i will create a key called name and provide it a value and that value will be ssm demo instance and then for security groups just to demonstrate that we will connect through the ssm agent i am going to disable port 22. it will throw a warning that's okay and i will select the review and launch and just confirming everything here click launch and I don't need a key as I mentioned I'm connecting through SSM so I'll, I'll acknowledge that and click launch instance so now that we have our EC2 let's access it using systems manager so if you click the systems manager here is the menu you want to scroll down here on the left side and you'll want to click the section that is session manager and then here you sh you won't have any sessions this is assuming you haven't set this up before so on the right you want to click the start session button and clicking that you should see the instance that we set up if you have performed the steps correctly and in this case I did so I will click the instance and select start session and this will bring you into a shell in your web browser. So I'm just going to invoke just a couple Linux commands here just to prove that this was the instance. First one is the who am I command. Invoking that you can see I'm the SSM user. And doing a sudo su dash, I am now root. And then just uptime here, you can see it's been up for four minutes. And just, you know, disk space demonstrating that it was the eight gig volume that we had set up. So if you prefer the command line over the management console, you can install the session manager plugin for your AWS CLI tools. And I'll demonstrate that here for you. Uh, in my particular case, I'm using Ubuntu, so I'll follow the Ubuntu steps. Uh, however, if you guys are using a different operating system, uh, please search for that and follow those steps instead.
So I'll just invoke these couple commands here on the right and that will allow me to gain access to my machine using the systems manager plugin or the session manager plugin. Okay, so now that I have the session manager plugin installed, I can now use the AWS CLI to connect to my instance. And so here's the documentation. I will link this in the description below. Uh, if you scroll down, you can just see the wealth of commands and options that AWS provides on the CLI. Uh, however, I'm gonna be invoking the section that says start session. And you can just see here again, you know, just the options and it kind of goes into the details as AWS documentation typically does. Um, so now that we have everything we need, we can begin invoking the command and it starts with AWS SSM start dash session space dash dash target. And then the value you want to provide is your instance ID. So I'm just going to copy that here from my management console and paste that in. And when I hit enter, you should see that it is starting session and now I'm connected to my machine and then refreshing on the management console. You can just see that my session ID is now available and it's highlighted right here. Then there are multiple ways to terminate your sessions. One is through the management console. And so if I click one of these sessions here and select terminate, you can see that it will clean up the session. And then the second way is just to do it through the command line. So I'll click over to the documentation real quick just to point this out. If I can find my tab here, yeah, here it is. And just scroll down and find the terminate session and very similar to the command line before uh, you'll want to invoke aws ssm uh, except this time you'll choose terminate session and you'll target your session id and i'll grab that from the management console and the first column here so if i paste that in and hit enter It'll say session ID, and if it doesn't throw an error, that means it was successful, and refreshing demonstrates that. And that concludes this tutorial. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button, as well as the notification bell. It would certainly mean a lot to me. Also, I'm just curious, let me know how you guys use the systems manager agent in the comment section below. I'm always just curious how others will leverage this in their own environments. And as always, if you have any questions, please engage me on Twitter or using the comment section below. And that is it. Thanks everyone and take care.